Given the popularity of the third-person shooter genre, those on the lookout for another one to play never really have any shortage of options to pick from, and though there's obviously every case to be made for what are regarded as the genre's best games, there are also plenty of other, less popular third-person shooters out there that perhaps deserve more recognition. Here, we're going to talk about 15 such third-person shooters that might not be the best of the best that the genre has to offer, but do still stand out as some of its more overlooked and underrated offerings. Shadows of the Damned The textbook example of a diamond in the rough, Shadows of the Damned is the perfect game to kick this feature off with. Grasshopper Manufacturer's 2011 cult classic is a game that has garnered an increasingly sizable fan following over the years, and it's easy to see why. Whether that's because of its stylish action, its sense of humor, or the abundance of characters and personality that it's overflowing with. Hopefully, its upcoming remaster will bring a much larger audience to the game. Total Overdose from allowing players to run and dive while shooting enemies to offering a varied roster of over-the-top weapons, vehicles, and abilities to unleash in combat, Deadline Games 2005's open-world action game Total Overdose was one of the more bombastic GTA clones of that era. Total Overdose was definitely a little rough around the edges, but it had enough going for it that the cancellation of its planned sequel back in the day came across as a genuine bummer. Dark Sector we're not going to pretend that the 2008 shooter Dark Sector was a perfect game. No, it was really quite rough and a janky one. Even so, there is a lot about it that we can't help but remember fondly. Its third-person cover shooting mechanic may have been virtually indistinguishable from what we saw in so many other Gears of War clones in that era, but they were solidly implemented, while the game also delivered a unique twist with its primary boomerang-like weapon the Glaive, which lent an entirely different flavor to the combat. Mass Effect Andromeda Mass Effect Andromeda is obviously a much more prominent game than many others we've mentioned in this feature, but it does sometimes feel like the criticisms that it usually receive, a lot of which are admittedly deserved, tend to also unfairly overshadow its undeniable strengths. Andromeda's combat in particular was legitimately excellent, allowing players to engage with the battlefield with a level of explosive mobility that the original Mass Effect trilogy had never allowed. Gears of War Judgment Speaking of Black Sheep installments in otherwise massive franchises, Gears of War Judgment is another one that perhaps gets ignored a bit too much. Coming out after the conclusion of the original trilogy and before Microsoft had acquired the franchise from Epic Games, many felt that Gears of War Judgment seemed to represent the rut that the series had fallen into at the time. But looking back, it still delivered a solid campaign with typically excellent cover-based action. It may not be the best that Gears has to offer, but it's a hell of a lot of fun nonetheless. Outriders We're going to stick with Gears Judgment developer People Can Fly a little longer because we'd be remiss not to talk about the studio's 2021 RPG shooter, Outriders, in a feature such as this one. It may not have been the biggest innovator, and it may have been bogged down by a substandard story, but from solid shooting action to well-implemented progression mechanics, Outriders nailed a lot of its most crucial fundamentals. Scarface The World Is Yours Scarface The World Is Yours may not have necessarily been a critical darling, but those who have played it will often tell you that it was one of the best licensed games of its time, and it's hard to disagree with that notion. Offering a gleefully rageful take on the Grand Theft Auto open world framework, it was, and continues to be a fan favorite for many, even if it was dismissed as yet another GTA clone at the time of its release by many. Returnal one of the more recent releases in this feature, Returnal is a game that may have enjoyed widespread critical acclaim, but as its hardcore fans will tell you, it deserves far more recognition and success. 
Housemarque's roguelike bullet hell shooter is a spectacularly designed action game that perfectly blends challenge, explosive combat, addictive progression, and stellar storytelling. Returnal is flat out one of the best shooters ever made, if only its sales reflected that. The Saboteur Yes, you're probably sick of seeing the Saboteur on lists of underrated games by now, but we're going to take every chance we can get to toot the game's horn. From its period setting to its stunning visual aesthetic, from how incredibly atmospheric it was to its blend of stealth and action, from its open world setting to just so much more. There's no shortage of things to love about this game, even with its handful of issues it does admittedly suffer from. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories No game called Grand Theft Auto is ever going to be left wanting for attention, but within the context of the series itself, it's not controversial to say that GTA Vice City Stories definitely gets overlooked by the majority of people, which is quite a shame. Originally a PSP exclusive, Vice City Stories was a fantastic romp through the titular Miami-inspired city touting a compelling narrative, fun missions, engaging side activities, and more. Lost Planet 2 You'll often hear the argument that the original Lost Planet was the only good game in this sci-fi shooter series, and though we can't deny that both of its successors were riddled with their fair share of issues, we feel that Lost Planet 2 in particular has some notable redeeming qualities that frequently get overlooked. Though not without its design and technical flaws, it was a fun co-op shooter with solid action, a meaty campaign, and fun multiplayer. Daymare 1994 Sandcastle Daymare 1998 may very well have been one of 2019's roughest games, but we have to give credit where credit is due, because Daymare 1994 Sandcastle, its prequel that released last year, was a significant step up. For fans of survival horror games, this one is mostly an easy recommendation, even if it does have some significant flaws in some areas, from the storytelling to how rough the controls and movement can often feel. Solid design, fun combat, and decent scares will keep genre fans happy, though. El Paso Elsewhere if you're on the lookout for a no-frills, old-school, classic third-person shooter with solid action and oodles of attitude, look no further than El Paso Elsewhere. Strange Scaffold's indie gem launched last year for PC and consoles, and immediately it won over a number of fans. Putting players in the shoes of a vampire hunter, El Paso Elsewhere boasts legitimately excellent action, combining the stylish shooting mechanics of a Max Payne with the immediacy and approach to a challenge like something like a Hotline Miami. Surrounded Maybe not a game that you've heard of, but one that is highly regarded by its small but dedicated player base. Surrounded is an open-world survival game that feels like a solid half-step towards similar but larger-scale games like State of Decay and DayZ. Surrounded is obviously a much smaller production, and is currently in early access, but hopefully the game will continue to see improvements, because the experience it delivers at this stage in time is already a genuinely compelling one. Nero There's a good chance that you haven't even heard of this game, but as the few who have played it will tell you, there's actually a lot to like here. Putting players in the jungles of South Asia, Nero offers a solid mix of tactical third-person shooting encounters and stealth scenarios, some stylish bullet hell action, surprisingly sharp visuals, and more. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.